Hello and welcome to my channel. So we are continuing with our playlist on international trade finance and today's topic for learning is Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India ECGC. Do check out the link to the playlist it is provided on the i button in the description box as well as at the end of this video already 13 videos are uploaded under this particular playlist it will enhance your understanding and broaden your learning related to this trade finance course if you found the video useful valuable do hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to the channel for more finance banking and management videos now let's start with our topic starting with the introduction to ecgc it stands for the export credit guarantee corporation of india now ecgc is a company which is established in the year 1957 under the companies act 1956 it operates as a government owned company and is headquartered in mumbai the basic reason why ecgc was started was to provide a range of credit risk insurance covers to the exporters again it was also a part to promote the export in our country and so that the exporters can be uh, can be freely available to do the business uh, with with a provision of risk coverage provided under this ecgc it was more convenient for the exporters to cover their risk to cover their loss which was included in this particular trade finance sector it functions under the administrative control of ministry of commerce and industry and managed by board of directors comprising government rbi banking insurance and the exporters community now let's understand this with an example so imagine that you are running a business that manufactures and exports garments to us now most of the exporters today uh, uh, they are doing business on credit basis which means that the goods are shipped first from the country and later on the payment is received after the goods are delivered to the buyer or the importer now what if that you have delivered your delivered the goods from india and the buyer who was settled in us for certain reason is facing financial crisis and refuses to make your payment or uh, just uh, just like that the buyer becomes insolvent and says that he does not want to make the payment any anymore he does not want to continue with the agreement the trade agreement which was done between you and the us uh, settled buyer So in this case what happens that you have already incurred cost in manufacturing of the products and transportation of the products and now that you have to receive the payment for the goods that you have shipped the buyer has refused to make the payment this is where ecgc proves to be helpful and provides a, a coverage to the exporters which can help with which can help cover the financial loss that the exporter has already incurred So suppose before the shipment of the goods you have bought the insurance policy from ECGC to secure your payment in any such scenario in any unforeseen circumstances if the buyer makes default if the goods are destroyed for some reason so you can go to ECGC and you can claim you can put that financial claim you can ask for the coverage which was uh, which should be provided to you in case the risk has happened in case the loss has incurred so ecgc policy will cover your losses and you will get paid now uh, the risk involved is due to various reasons as i mentioned it is not just that the buyers make defaults on the payment buyers refuses to make the payment it can also happen due to various other reasons like political instability in that particular country suddenly there are some changes in the policies of the country where you have shipped the goods due to weather conditions the goods have suddenly destroyed it wasn't expected due to any global crisis that happened so any of such reasons can impact your business can impact to the exports that you have made and because you have already incurred so much of money and you haven't received your payment there is a financial loss for your business ecgc ecgc the uh, insurance you can you can call it as a insurance company for the exporters so it provides various insurance options to cover the goods to cover the risk of non payment to cover certain conditions which can lead to the uh, which can lead to a financial loss to the exporters who are based in india 
Now let's move on to the functions which are performed by ECGC starting with the first one which is the basic and the core of ECGC that is providing export credit insurance to the exporters who are based in India. Now ECGC offers insurance coverage to exporters to protect them against any kind of payment related risk. Okay, so uh, we already discussed with an example this particular function which is provided by ECGC. Second one is bad debts recovery. So it not it does not it does not directly recover the bad debts but assist the exporters in recovering the same by providing the insurance. So what exactly bad debt means? The money that uh, uh, just imagine that you are the exporter and the money that you were supposed to receive from buyer for your goods but the buyer became insolvent and due to fraud reason or any other reason and thus your future payment which was due with the buyer turned into bad debt. So who was the buyer? Buyer was a debtor for you. You were about to receive payment from the buyer. It was a kind of income which would be coming in future. But suddenly the buyer became insolvent for some reason is refusing to make the payment and thus the your debtor uh, has turned out to be uh, turned out to not be uh, not not be useful for you and it would be considered as a bad debt for you because you can't recover your money anymore from that particular buyer from that particular side. So ECGC in a turn is helping out by providing a safeguard from any such uh, circumstances by providing the insurance. One can purchase ECGC insurance policy and get the coverage. Okay, so thus it helps it assist in, in recovering the bad debts. Third is guidance and information. It also provides valuable guidance in export related activities and offers valuable trade and market related information so that uh, informed decisions can be taken place so that the exporters can have idea of uh, where the trade will be valuable, what is the current market uh, circumstances going on, if the, if the exporter has to deal with a particular country, how is the political economical scenario of that particular company. So it provides guidance and information which can help take an informed decision for the exporters. Fourth and fifth function is really important and again it is also a core of ECGC. It provides risk assessment and credit report. Now both of the things are valuable being an exporter. You would like to know that you are dealing with a particular buyer who is settled in some other foreign country. How you will be able to trust that particular buyer? In your country, you can know that if this particular business, if that particular company is worth the hype, is worth the is worth the value so that you can make transactions with that particular business or country but if the business is settled in a foreign country and is not a, is not having a big name how you would be able to trust that particular business so ECGC provides risk assessment and credit report which can help the exporters take a better decision rather than totally having a narrow idea or no idea it can help take better decision. Now credit report, how does it help? It consists of uh, various things like payment history of the buyer. So if you are transacting with a foreign buyer, the credit report will provide you that what was the payment history of the buyer. If the buyer has done transactions with many other countries also prior to, prior to tran doing trade transaction with you, has it made the payment on time? Has it defaulted on any of the payments? So payment history will be known. Financial stability of a particular buyer going through the cash flow statements, the profit and loss statement, the balance sheet, financial stability of a particular business or com company which is based in foreign country can be assessed. Then the country involved risk. How is the country's uh, economical and political scenario going on? Is the country stable or is going through any kind of uh, instability? That risk assessment also needs to be done. And uh, this is provided by ECGC as a credit report, uh, as a risk assessment, which helps the exporters take a better decision. Now let's have a look at the basic process flow. How does it work? So purchase ECGC insurance. Now if you are an exporter who is based in India, the first thing which you need to do if you want to get the coverage to the risk, 
before shipping your goods which are manufactured and the trade agreement is done with the buyer or buyer or importer who are based who is based in foreign country before shipping your goods you purchase insurance policy according to your need there are various insurance policies various option suitable for the exporter's need which is provided by ecdc so before shipping goods take the uh, valuable assessment of what kind of insurance will be required for your particular shipment of goods or your uh, particular risk that you want to get covered to so before shipping goods purchase insurance unfortunately if due to any due to any circumstance if non payments occur and you can you can if non payment occurs and you are uh, not able to receive your payment it become it became bad debt for you you can just file a claim with ecdc by providing all the necessary documents and the details of the trade agreement which was done between you and the buyer and the default when when the default was made and you have not been able to receive the payment what was the exact reason behind that providing all the documents and the details you can file a claim then the ecgc will review the claim that you have made if it is valid and if it is within the terms and conditions which was mentioned in the insurance policy the compensation will be provided to the exporter now this compensation will be a kind of settlement so that you can recover your financial loss of the business and then continue with your business because once the financial loss is recovered it would be better to continue your business again insurance is providing a coverage so whenever you are going to take a policy as an exporter you must go through the terms and conditions that when it would be settled what would be the coverage amount what all cases are covered in this particular uh, uh, policy all these things should be taken into consideration for an informed decision now here are some of the credit insurance policies which are provided and which are bifurcated on the basis of short term or medium to long term what kind of trade transaction you are into with the foreign settled buyer is it for a short term is it for a medium or long term period then uh, the insurance policies are also bifurcated on turnover basis exposure basis here are some of the examples of the policies which are provided now let's just recap what was the need for ecdc first one is risk mitigation so obviously to mitigate the risk involved in the trade finance business related to non payment then the confidence building for exporters so that the uh, exporters can have the confidence that even if i haven't received my payment i can get the coverage in any such unforeseen circumstances if any such risk incurs export facilitation also ecdc is guiding and helping take informed decisions so it is uh, in a way facilitating the export continuing continuing the business in a uh, proper way market intelligence providing reports the credit reports and the data related to a particular country their market scenario their economical and political scenario also helps in uh, getting the intelligence about the overall market and take the informed decision then trade promotion uh, of course the ecdc by providing insurance coverage is boosting up the confidence of the exporters and in turn promoting the trade so that the more believe the exporters and the people who are involved in a trade business who are involved in export business will have will have faith in the country's policies which are being provided it would be uh, they would promote they would get involved in this particular sector and it would be promoted in turn loss coverage that which was the basic of this ecgc so providing the coverage in case of any risk that has incurred in case of any loss that has been incurred by the exporter thank you for watching i hope this video was useful thank you so much do let me in com do let me know in comments if you have any queries related to this particular topic thank you so much